I went to see my family in California that I haven't seen for five years. One of my sister's boys, who is seven years old, whose name is Ryan, was taking notice of me talking to my younger brother. He turned around and said, you sound like the, that guy in the YouTube. I said, yeah, that's me. But how come you have listened to it? He told me he was in the car and my younger brother was listening to it. The next day he said to me, can you write a poem about the ocean? Yes, I replied. I don't think I have written one about the ocean. Then I told him to find a picture of the ocean so I can write about it. Then I asked him, why do you want to write a poem about the ocean? He replied, because it's beautiful. Couldn't argue with that. Then he told me we live by the ocean. So I don't want a picture, I want a video. So we went and got a video. The poem is called Ryan's Ocean. The beauty of the ocean comes from its calmness. When you are looking at it, you feel safety. You want to forget about all your worries and want to hide away into your comfortable thoughts and memories. Like a child taking a comfort in his mom's loving arms. But do not forget the anger of the ocean, like your troubled thoughts could tangle you in its loving arms and pull you into its unknown and undiscovered invisible depths. The shore where the ground meets and enters the secretive greenish blue water set the boundary to how the world view such heavenly unimmeasurable beauty. You see from far, far away this beauty when the day begins and ends, where the ocean ends, the sun and the moon rising from the water to shine all day and night and then go back to sleep. I like the ocean not just for its view, but for its sound, when the waves crawl under and around my naked feet, to tell me, I am here for you. Enjoy, enjoy before those troubled thoughts taking over my love for you. Thank you for listening.